You really have to become consciously aware of the presence of God. Amen. Amen. You know, I, I heard the term, practice His presence. I'm like, okay, practice His presence. What does that really mean? Mm -hmm. And then I, what, what it really meant to me was to become more aware that His presence was always with me. Yes. Sometimes because of how we start the day or how we get up or how we feel or what we deal with, uh, we tend to forget that He's right there. So when you begin to practice his presence, that means you become consciously aware. you got to make an effort to be aware sometimes. Because the other stuff kind of blinds, pushes it aside, and it kind of blinds you that he's really right there. He promised you he would never leave you. So therefore, you've got to admit he's there. Amen. But you don't always feel him there. You don't always sense that he's there. You just feel so it says creating an atmosphere. That I know that the Bible teaches you that the devil is the prince of the air. But the Bible also teaches you that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. So it's who you're going to put your focus on that's kind of going to determine what you're aware of. I recognize that sin is on the rampage. I see it every day. But I also know the Bible teaches me that grace does much more about it.
Jesus. Because me and you can't save him, but his spirit can draw him. And when his spirit is in the hallelujah, I can't miss it. I feel the Holy Ghost all in up in here already. When his spirit is working, I tell you, you can't resist the spirit of God. You can sit on them seats and be lost and on your way to hell. And let the spirit of God begin to move. Your heart will be jumping out of your chest. Because you know you ought to be in the altar right now. Your faith in God. <laughs> 
of worship with the Father. People that hang out with God, you don't have to be alone with them very long before you know it. That's true. <laughs> because it's just evident. You know? yes. People who worship in spirit and truth break through to the atmosphere of eternity. Y'all need to get that. When you begin to praise God and enter into worship, you enter into an eternal sound. Oh, yeah. Realm, if you choose. But it's what you're doing is for eternity's sake. Amen. So you've really got to really understand this is not wasted time nor effort. You're creating an atmosphere that God can move in and work not only for you, but for your family, for Richlands, for North Carolina, for the United States of America, and for the nations of the world. Your assignment goes further than your house. Your assignment goes further than just you. There's much more that we've got to do. And your praise leads you into a place of worship. And in that place of worship, you have such an encounter with the King until you dare to believe Him for everything. Amen. 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 Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Well, you know, praise is one thing, but worship is totally different. Yes. That's for real. Amen. Amen. People who worship that atmosphere of eternity, the Bible says He makes us to sit in heavenly places. And I believe that even in times of worship or in times of services in church when the anointing is so great, it is a heavenly atmosphere. Amen. Nothing you can find anywhere else on this earth like that. Amen. I've come to church sick and left well. Amen. I've come to church burdened and left light. Amen. I've come to church bothered and left knowing it was going to be all right. Yeah. I've come to church but not with no money, didn't know how I was going to get any money, and leave with a, a Pentecostal offering handshake. Yeah. Yeah. I'd give my last $5 in the offering and say to God, I need gas to get home with. Yeah. But you said, give it, I gave it. Yeah. I wasn't worried about it. And, and sure enough, before I ever left that church, somebody would shake my hand, and I, I wouldn't even know what it was until I got in the car. Yeah. We got in the car, I reached look, I said, oh, thank you, God, my son made a hundred dollars. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you what I know, what I tried. Because when you have a, a where you worship the Lord, you lose sight of any other thing. Nothing materially matters to you. The only thing matters is His presence. That's it. eternity where the center of attention is no longer self but God. Amen. If you can get lost in that, in His presence they are not concerned with how they feel or what they are experiencing. They know God requires worship and this conviction surpasses every temporal situation. Worship is not a feeling but an attitude expressed by one who knows that without God he is nothing. Amen. That's real. Amen. But praise God. And you know, Pastor, you get in that, and when you get in that place, okay, how many people's in this church? Huh, that's There's right. nobody at that moment but you. Amen. That's, that's true. Nobody Amen. but you and God. Amen. Oh, how much shout and praise is going on around? It's just you and him at that particular moment. Yes. And that's nothing but our spirit that nobody can tell you about. And it's a wonderful experience. Yes, it is. Amen. 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 You may have anything you want to share? Man. Well, I got, you know, we got just a few minutes. I'm not going to push to answer questions because <laughs> uh, I've done well to finish the first page. <laughs> well, we got about nine hours left. <laughs> <laughs> Let 
Look, I can't control that stuff. It just comes. And it comes because I realize for now for a right good season we've been working in this patch. We're headed in a direction. If you don't know it, and if I've not persuaded you yet, God don't want church as usual. Amen. He wants you, when you come through that door, you can't even predict what he's going to do to you. Amen. And that you don't put him in no kind of box. Right. You don't limit him on any kind of way. You just believe for the supernatural moving of the power of a living God. And you come with an attitude, I've come to praise you until worship falls. And Lord, I don't mind bowing over. I don't mind laying out.
Yes, ma'am, we've known somebody for bring her on. We'll pray again. Yes. Yes. Amen.